हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस पॉइंटर इन सी प्लस प्लस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट माय इन्फॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड्स माय ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल सो कमिंग ऑन टू दिस पॉइंटर फर्स्ट पॉइंट सेज एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट हैज अ स्पेशल पॉइंटर विच इज दिस विच पॉइंट टू द ऑब्जेक्ट इट सेल्फ सेकेंड पॉइंट सेज दिस पॉइंटर इज एक्सेबल टू ऑल द मेम्बर्स ऑफ द क्लास but not to any static members of the class so it means static members cannot access this pointer but uh, remaining members can access this pointer then it can be used to find the address of the object in which the function is a member next point presence of this pointer is not included in the size of calculation so if you uh, want to calculate size of a object through a uh, size of operator then this pointer is not included in that calculation last point says every member function of the class is born with this pointer it means in every member function this pointer is inbuilt which points to the object with which the member function is associated so if you call a member function through an object so that object's address will be received by this pointer automatically so after discussion you can uh, understand the concept with the help of uh, example so in this example a class test is defined here an attribute is declared whose name is well then in public section a constructor is defined it is a parameterized constructor which is receiving a parameter in well now you can see that this constructor parameter and class member both have same name or both sharing the same name so if you want to distinguish which is class member and which is parameter of function then for class member you can use this and uh, if you don't use this then it is considered as a parameter of function so this val is used here and this val is used here so you can use this pointer with class members and without this you can use parameters of the functions and this is a pointer that's why this arrow notation is used because we cannot use dot operator with uh, pointers so if we want to access members through pointer then arrow notations are required then next function is display one which is printing well so it is printing a uh, value without this pointer then another function is display2 it is printing this so this this will print object address and if you want to print value using this pointer then you can write this arrow well so it will print value which is available inside well variable so friends there are two uses of this uh, first if you want to access all the class members uh with so that you can uniquely represent them with other variables you can use this or uh, second use is if you want to access address of object through which a function is called then also you can use this pointer now main function inside main object t is created it is calling display1 and then display2 so every time when display1 and display2 functions are called an object should be associated with them so uh, here t is used to call display1 and display2 so in both the functions address of this t object will be passed automatically so you can see the output this 50 is printed through display1 function and these two outputs are displayed through display2 function so display2 function is printing first address and then value of well variable so this is all about this pointer uh, this is very important concept uh, available in c++ uh, so implement this program in your laptop so that you can understand the concept of this pointer well uh, when you are executing this program uh, it might be possible that the address which is uh, printed in this uh, video Uh, will be different uh, while you are executing the program in your laptop thank you for watching this video